Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. This video is part 3 of my discussion on the landing gear system. In this video, we will look at the brakes and some of the features on the brakes such as anti-skid and auto brakes. First, let's see what are brakes on an aircraft. A brake is a device that is used to slow down or stop the aircraft when the aircraft's wheel touches the ground during landing. Brakes are also used while parking the aircraft to prevent any movement of the aircraft. Normally, the brakes are installed on the main landing gears. During landing, along with the brakes, aircrafts also use thrust reversers and spoilers to reduce the aircraft speed. Now let's see how the brakes are applied on the aircraft. Manual brake application is via the rudder pedals. More specifically, brakes are applied when the top section of the rudder pedal is pressed. This pedal is connected to the brakes on the left main landing gear and this is connected to the brakes on the right main landing gear. Normally, the hydraulic system on the aircraft provides hydraulic pressure for the activation of the brakes. Let's take a closer look at the brake application. On the main landing gear, carbon disc brakes are commonly used. This consists of a series of carbon discs. The hydraulic system provides pressurized hydraulic fluid for the brake application. If there is any fault with the hydraulic system and it is not available, a separate accumulator is installed. This accumulator will supply pressurized hydraulic fluid only to the brakes in case of an emergency. In some aircrafts, a hand pump or a separate pneumatic system may be installed instead of the accumulator. The hydraulic fluid is controlled by a set of valves that control the brake application. The valves also operate according to different functions such as the anti-skid and the auto brakes. Now we will look at the auto brakes. On an aircraft, the auto brakes are used for automatic brake application. When the auto brake system is activated, the aircraft decelerates at a predetermined rate. Usually, there are different modes in which the system can be activated. Depending on the modes, the deceleration rate varies, which is helpful during takeoff in case of a reject takeoff or during landing. The auto brakes are useful because they reduce the pilot workload during critical phases of flight, such as takeoff and landing. And the braking action is not severe, which provides more comfort to the passengers. Now let's look at the anti-skid function. This is used to prevent an aircraft skid. Normally a skid occurs when the wheels stop spinning because of severe brake application. Because of a skid there may be a loss of control of the aircraft on the runway. The anti-skid system operates by releasing the brakes on the wheels. Let us see how this function operates in more detail. Let's consider this as the right main landing gear and this as the left main landing gear. On each landing gear, a tachometer is installed. This tachometer is used to measure the wheel speed. The wheel speed is compared with the aircraft speed 
which is measured by the pitot system of the aircraft. If the system detects that the wheels are spinning too slowly, the brakes are released to allow the wheel speed to increase. The brakes are then reapplied on the wheels and again the speeds are compared and the brakes are released. This forms a continuous cycle. The anti-skid controls a valve which closes and cuts off hydraulic fluid to the brakes, thus releasing the brakes and then reopened for the reapplication of brakes. Hence, on an aircraft, the brakes are used to stop or to park the aircraft. There may be additional features installed such as auto brakes and anti-skid, which assist the pilot to keep the aircraft in control and to improve the passenger comfort. In case of failure of these functions, manual braking is always available through the rudder pedals but care must be taken to prevent an aircraft skid. So that's all for my discussion on the landing gear system. If you like the video, do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.